Dodge Street commute here this morning on Thursday, December 7th. I think it's the first day of Hanukkah, if I stand corrected. I did a live stream just prior on Philadelphia Walks PTSD. It's my other channel if you want to check it out. This, of course, is Silver Code Dreams. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Spread far and wide. I would really appreciate it. It's one of my dreams to have a home. I wound up in a very sticky situation through no fault of my own. And I look to any means possible to earn a living. Um, so, and I, my goal is to get this channel up to a thousand subscribers. Um, at the very least. <laughs> so, brand new supermarket. It's been here for a few years, but technically all this complex is new and the Divine Lorraine was empty and abandoned for years. And they renovated it and opened it uh, within the past few years. I wanted to walk up here to the Met. Temple University is way up here, so I'll kind of keep on the quiet side. is off to the left, just around this block corner here. And um, I'm on broad. wondering Exodus of course there's the Exodus in Egypt around Easter time when um, I guess it was okay, a lot of Jews I think there was a mass Exodus to escape I don't know Egyptians Jews this whole thing with the blood of the lamb on the door to save the firstborn son that story from the Bible I think I don't know all my, you know, Bible stuff, but that's kind of what I remember. It was 33 when I looked at my phone earlier this morning. There was a beautiful sunrise with just sort of the pink reflection against all the buildings. do the Broad Street run. Um, I forget when it is. I think it's in the first half of the year. All right, I'll have to look it up again. It's a 14 miler all the way down Broad Street, but you start way up north, way further north than where we are now. And, um, and then you run all the way down towards uh, the sports arenas. It's past way, like Pattison and then further down Oregon, Pattison, and so forth and so on. I forget exactly where the finish line is, but it's way down there by past Columbus Park. Yuhu Furniture here, although it says for rent, so I guess they vacated. They used to have one down in the um, neighborhood.
technically it was a non-profit. They raised money selling furniture uh, regarding a story about a guy who um, was accused of killing a cop and he wound up Swamia something and I forget his last, I forget the rest of his name, sorry about that. Um, and uh, he's been serving time in jail for many, 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 many years, even isolation. I think he got some sick time out during the Obama administration. They sent him to the hospital. Um, so anyway, touchy story. I try to avoid it because I don't really understand, you know, I, you know, obviously I have no idea what happened. I wasn't here in Philadelphia. And I know I experienced something that was really whack and crazy. And I wondered, um, you know, how far those crazy experiences could push someone into a certain world or in a certain situation. And it can get pretty scary. Cause it's like, what if people just decided to put you in a situation and puppet you to the point of, you know, winding up in his position. So I don't know what happened. I'm not gonna talk about it because I think it's so touchy in Philadelphia that it's just better to avoid it. Um, but I wouldn't want to wind up in that situation, obviously. <laughs> Most people wouldn't, so. median strips in the middle there often they're lit up and they change colors um, right now you can't see them I saw one lit up when I first started walking up here but uh, Still open or? 